start to this clip. Hello, it is Sunday. Sunday. This vlog did not... Actually, no, we're starting a new one. I'm so disorientated. Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Georgia. I am an Australian primary school teacher. I make a lot of vlogs, a lot of lifestyle content. I'm basically just taking you through my year as a new grad teacher. I'm so grateful to have you here today. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today, I thought we would do a bit more of a wellness a wellness focused video because that has honestly been the focus of my life at the moment. Just getting back to feeling good and getting into better routines and just trying to figure out what's going on with my body right now. Because since the holidays, like getting back into work, my body has slowly just gone bloop. And this week in particular, I started vlogging at the start of the week and then it just like completely went into a big dump pile because it was honestly one of the toughest weeks. Like honestly, one of the hardest weeks I've probably had as a beginning teacher. Um, this week was really hard. And anyway, the vlogs just went all over the place. So I started recording like a little day in the life and I've decided I'm going to team that up with some footage from tomorrow. So I'm going to finish off that video on the same kind of vibe. Like it's a bit more of like a school beginning teacher focused video. So I'm going to leave that for tomorrow and we're going to start a bit of a wellness video today. Just chatting about getting our bodies feeling good again and getting back in sync. As I said, this past week was just so hard and I think my nervous system just got shot and I really just don't feel like me right now. I feel like I've said that so many times this year and I just attribute that to teaching and like how hectic this year has been. Um, but I just honestly like hate, I'm going to be completely honest, hate how it makes my body feel and my body right now just does not feel great. So... Yeah, that's kind of what we're working with. Hence the wellness focus because I like my biggest priority right now is just feeling like myself and feeling good again. I don't know what's going on. I can't seem to put my finger on it. I'm trying all these things and it's honestly really frustrating. Like I could cry talking about it because when you don't feel like yourself for a long period of time, you just start to get a little bit emotional about it and you miss feeling good again. And that's literally where I'm at right now. I'm just tired of not feeling like myself. Um, but anyway, we are going to run through some wellness stuff today and yeah, just kind of start the journey back to ourselves. I don't know, maybe we'll start like a little wellness series, like maybe like feeling good again series, the feeling the name needs some work, but you know what I mean? It is Sunday morning and this weekend was just all about slow starts for me. I needed just to have a moment. We have a bit of cleaning to do today, a bit of meal prep, getting the house in order for this week. We have an inspection this week, so a little bit more cleaning than usual. I'm just making Matt and I some breakfast now. We're going to have some protein oats this morning, craving some whole foods and just foods that I know that my body thrives off um, oats being one of them I find it just really easy for my stomach to digest and I feel like I don't know my stomach has been in knots this week attributed to everything that's been going on but I just want to tackle that do you know what I mean I also got Brazil nuts you would have seen this in one of my previous vlogs my naturopath put me onto Brazil nuts for my hormones, my thyroid. I can't completely remember, but I remember when I needed a reset, she put me on these and here we are again, eating our Brazil nuts. They're really good for you, really good for your, your hormones. I don't know, it's the little things. I also am out of some of my supplements. So hopefully this week, some of them come back in stock so I can make an order, um, particularly my calming tablets. I thrive off them. The only thing about the Brazil nuts, I don't actually enjoy the taste of them. I'm purely having them because I know that they're good for me. I really want the um, the big Yeti. I used to have like a massive Frank Green bottle that everyone used to pay me out about, but 
like that's how I got my water intake. It was a two liter bottle. So it just helped me drink more water. And especially as a teacher, like you're on the go all the time. And I don't know, I forget to drink water a lot of the time. So oh, oh, protein, I'm just gonna go some straight vanilla protein. Gonna add a little bit of milk in there. So just so that the protein um, mixes in a little bit nicer but yeah obviously we all know hydration is so key to your well-being and I really just feel like a bigger water bottle would help me do that like when I had the two liter bottle I used to smash that so quickly because it's just like I don't know it has straw and it was just so easy to drink water whereas I just I don't know fallen off the bandwagon I'm gonna serve our oats give some extra to Maddie I was going to put some berries in it, actually, but I forgot. Oh, oopsie. Oh my God, I'm the clumsiest human. Well, luckily the floors are getting mopped today anyway. did some journaling and did a little bit of work on my computer. Um, I really have been putting off finishing one of our um, Intuition Co. little freebies. I'm getting back into everything the Intuition Co. when I get a chance. Honestly, I did not anticipate how hard it was going to be to juggle full-time teaching and just like the exhaustion that comes with that adding on maintaining my lifestyle plus doing all my little passion projects and my business obviously the intuition co and uh youtube and instagram it just all really adds up it's a bit of a juggling act but i am making more time for the things that i'm currently working on and i've spoken in previous vlogs a little bit about what i'm working on and what that kind of looks like um, but I've just finished creating a little freebie, a little downloadable that you guys can download off the Intuition Co's website. I'll have it linked down below. It's in the description of all of my videos, but I will pop it down, um, directly below the description just so that you guys can check it out because I know a lot of you are into your journaling and if you follow the Intuition Co on our Instagram, I'll pop the handle here, um, You'll know that we did journaling in July last year and that was basically a month-long journaling course that I ran with a group of really awesome women. It was so much fun. We obviously have our pads and all of those kinds of things that all kind of go hand in hand with I guess, journaling and kind of that self-reflective practice. Um, so we also still have our notepads, which I'll show you a little bit later on. Um, they are currently on sale at the moment. If you want to pick them up, I still use them, still love them. I just obviously have been using them in the background whilst the chaotic year has unfolded. They are all up there if you want to check them out. What I am talking about is a little freebie that you can use just to kind of guide your journaling practice and to make it a little bit more directed or focused, if that makes sense. So you'll see um, if you check the link, I'll actually link the journaling guide down below that I'm talking about. So it'll take you directly there. But Essentially, this is the journaling practice that I have used and evolved over the past eight years since I've been journaling. And this has been the one that I have most consistently used. It's taken me a little while, but I wanted to create a little freebie, a little downloadable for you guys. Pop that up on the website now. So there's two versions. There's a morning version and an evening version, depending on when journaling works best for you. Maybe it's a bit of both. So download them both. They're free. Um, but yeah, for me, I'm definitely a morning journaler. Occasionally, if I've had a really big day, I'll journal at night time. But anyway, just wanted to let you know that they are up there for you. So I hope you enjoy those. Um, and yeah, hopefully they help you as much as they help me because that is kind of the journaling scaffold that I stick to and I've stick to for probably the last three or four years, I want to say. Um, probably three years, but yeah, 
I hope you guys do enjoy that. Let me know if you have any questions, but as I said, link down below, it'll take you directly there so you can download it. Um, and yeah, if you want to shop any of the pads, they're also there as well. But we're going to do a little bit of cleaning. I'm going to prep some of my supplements and then we're going to head to Coles. We went to Aldi yesterday, but we've got some bits and pieces still to get. So yeah, continuing on with our little well-being Sunday. Let's get this meal prep going. That's good, crew. <laughs> We just got back from Coles. We had to pick up a few things that we didn't get at Aldi yesterday. Um, we've just popped that away and now we're starting our meal prep. We've got quite a bit to do this afternoon, but we will get there. The mic is a necessity in the kitchen because it is a little bit everywhere. loud with all of the sounds going on. But we've just heated up some rice and veg we had for dinner last night. We made like veg bowls. So good and so basic, but like really good for my gut. And I felt really good after it. So we're gonna have that for lunch with some vegetarian sausage rolls. Um, I also bought some almond milk at the grocery store and have like a little hypothesis. This is actually contributing to my stomach or just like my gut being a bit upset or whatever. I probably used to be a little bit more uh, almond milk dominant, but I've started having lactose free milk um, I, I don't really have almond milk that much anymore. Like I very rarely buy it. And so my hypothesis is that maybe just like, you know, going hard into a different kind of milk is like upsetting my stomach or just over time has like just changed my gut. I don't know. I'm not going to stop having lactose free milk, but I'm going to try and add in more almond milk and just go back to basics and test. see how I feel. Just test the hypothesis. Test the hypothesis. That's it, Matthew. Because, yeah, I used to not have as much tummy upset as I feel like I do now. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But my plan is to kind of go back to almond milk and just go back to the things that make my gut feel better. I, I've had almond milk for so long that that's just like the norm for me. And I feel really good when I have it. Like my body feels really good. So I'm hoping that that does contribute a lot because when I'm on an almond milk grind, I just feel a little bit better and I don't normally feel like this. There, I'm sure there's other factors, but it's just one of those things that it's like, let's just cut all the extra mm. stuff. I don't need to be having lactose free milk. So let's go back to almond milk, yeah, basically. The gut and the brain are connected. I'll say that into my mind. Oh, the gut and the brain <laughs> are connected. <laughs> um, even just like when we went to the grocery store today and yesterday, making some of those choices that are like a little bit kinder on the stomach and just having your stomach in mind. Um, Matt's recommendation for this week, we're doing a vegetarian bolognese. And <laughs> And he suggested this pasta, which came up pretty good on our little food app. I talked about it in the last vlog, but Yuka, Y-U-K-A, um, great app to use when you're grocery shopping, just to see what's in your food. Like it's just out of interest. You want to know what you're putting in your body. And I feel like that gives you a little bit more power to pick other options. Um, but anyway, he reckons that this whole egg pasta is really good on your stomach. So... I'm excited to see, excited to see how it goes. Hopefully it makes me feel amazing. Um, yeah, you can pop some in there. So things like that, just to kind of like bring it back a little bit. But bring it back into alignment. In alignment, that's a great word, Matthew. I've got some water on to boil for the pasta. And then this is the bolognese mixture that I'm just whipping up right now. We found this really good sauce at Coles, mum sauce, that's, yeah, really good for you. It's got some good stuff in it, so we're going to use that. Um, and this is the veggies we've got. Every week we like to do some big veggie and rice dish. This one just has a bunch of veggies and cashew, is it cashew coconut? Is that right? So we've got that going. I've also prepped some of the 
um, fritto? A fritto? Frittata. Frittata. Um, so I just shredded some zucchini, some carrot, we've got some frozen onion in there and some salt and pepper. I'm going to get some eggs into that, add a little bit of flour and make, yeah, a bit more of like a slice, a zucchini slice situation. I made it at the start of the year and I can't for the life of me find the recipe. Um, so I just kind of, I'm going to kind of wing it. We'll see. But I thought that would be a really good lunch option. It's really light, which makes me feel good. Oh, this is so spicy. How much um, sriracha did you put in there? Yeah, look. It's nice though. It's, oh. It is good night. <laughs> <laughs> Spice is not good for my stomach. Good night. <laughs> show you the finished product when we get home sorry you've just got Fred staring at you but I just got to um, the shops and I'm gonna run in and get Matt's birthday present now Matt he's already told me he wouldn't watch but if you are watching this please do not ruin the surprise click off but I really wanted to get it ahead of time just so that I know that I have it because they ran out of stock a little while ago and now they're back in stock so before they go out of stock again, I just want to get it. Um, and I'm going to have to hide it from him. I am going to go in there. I know it's heavy as well. So fingers crossed someone can help me get it to the car. Because I, I don't actually know how heavy it is. But anyway, we will see. I'm going to get him a Weber. He's been talking about a barbecue for a while. And especially since we moved into our new place. I know he wanted one at, our old, at his old place. So... Yeah, I decided for his birthday, um, that was the perfect time to get him a barbecue. Let's go inside and see if they have it and fingers crossed someone can help me get it in my car if it's too heavy. I don't know how heavy a barbecue is. Like, I know it's heavy, but like, I don't know. Surely I can do it with a bit of muscle. If not, hopefully someone in the store can help me or like, I don't even know if they have trolleys here. Instead of overthinking, I'm just going to walk in and find out. Alright, I got it home. I did a little bit of Christmas shopping as well, which was great. Um, the man was so nice. He popped it in the boot for me. Here she is. Either inside or in the garage. I'm thinking the garage is probably my best bet. <laughs> I'm honestly just going to chuck some towels over it and call it a day. <laughs> Matt and I have just planned out the week, planned out all of our meals, wrote them all up on the board, organized like exercise and stuff for the week, which makes me feel really organized. Um, we've just been doing all the gardening. Matt mowed the lawn. We did pulled out some weeds, watered all the plants. I fertilized my flowers out the front. So that's really exciting. We've pretty much finished meal prep as well. Um, just need to serve up the zucchini slice. And she's looking pretty good. For winging the recipe, I'm pretty proud of myself. And we had a little taste test, not too bad. Oh, it smells good. This is what it's looking like. Still got to do some of the surfaces and vacuum. Um, but we're getting there. Yummy. And we're going to have this for dinner now. Funnily enough, got this for um, my water intake that I was talking about at the start. Oh, sugar almost dropped it. <laughs> that I was talking about at the start of this video. I used to have like a really big Frank Green bottle and then I broke it. Um, and I've definitely since been converted to Yetis. Um, I have like a normal Yeti bottle, but 
I but I would get this one to take to work and stuff so that I am drinking more water. Um, I actually had this on my Christmas wish list, so <laughs> I bought it for myself and I can take it off now. It's like the big two liter one and I'm so excited. And I'm just gonna like use my other straw lid with it. But look how nice this color is. Pretty. This is gonna be a game changer. <laughs> supplements this week I bought these off Timu in the hopes that it would help me stay a little bit more organized with my naturopath supplements um, I've been I wouldn't say I've been great but I wouldn't say I've been real bad but I thought I'd run you through what those supplements look like I definitely need a bit of a restock so we'll see how we go first of all we've got probiotics I am supposed to have two every night but we do not have enough for two at the moment so it's gonna be one every night we've got mag theanine this is for my sleep and my anxiety so I have one of those every night some immunofort this is just to like keep me feeling good i have one twice a week let's go a tuesday and thursday just to make sure that you know i'm still doing well we've got vitamin b this stuff is supposed to be for my energy i see we've got a few in here Got some uh, iron tablets. I'm gonna start taking some digestive enzymes. And that's that. All of my supplements and that supplements are prepped. my teeth did a little bit of painting which was nice I just bought a watercolor set so I thought it would be a little calming activity to just I don't know mindlessly paint um, at the end of the day especially during the week I am gonna go and sit in bed I'm in bed now and I'm going to read my Kindle for a little bit I just downloaded daydream the third book in the Maple Hill series so I'm really looking forward to delving into this i think i've read like one chapter and then put it down oh chapter three surprise myself but i just wanted to end off this vlog and say thank you for watching i hope you enjoy these like well-being wholesome buh kind of vlogs um yeah i've just been so sick of feeling the way that i have and i'm really keen to feel better or just different um so i hope that the things that we did in this vlog together hopefully have an impact and start to make me feel a little bit more like me i'm still yet to decide what i'm going to call this series but we'll check in and kind of go along with it together so if you like all of this wellness stuff um yeah this series will definitely be for you but I hope you're doing well and looking after yourselves. I am hopeful that this is going to be a brighter week and looking forward to all the opportunities that are ahead. I will chat to you all in my next video very soon. Good night, guys.